Night Bear by Rebecca Patterson I'm not a new bear. I'm probably older than you and I've been around a very long time. I was born in a factory somewhere up north. Then I was a birthday present for people who never loved me. And they put me in a bag with some old shoes and gave me away to the charity shop. I have been stuck here for years, doing nothing, feeling lonely and waiting for someone to buy me. But the people who come into this shop never want a bear. I wait and wait. Someone must need a cute bear like me. And if I sit on this shelf any longer, my fur will get all flattened on the bottom. But who's this? She looks friendly. I will do my best smile. It worked. She's patting me and she's asking her mum, oh, please say yes. Yes, I am very good condition for 50p. She's buying me. And now I think we're going home. She says my name is Buttercup. I hope that's a proper boy's name. She has six other bears so I won't be lonely. All the bears in this house have really important jobs. They are busy working all day, every day. Tufts works on the lift. He pulls it up all by himself. Mr Brown Bear has to dress up like a baby and go out in the little buggy almost every afternoon. And Betty and Doffy say they have a very hard job. They have to put on big earrings and dance. But Frank says his job is much harder. He has to do stunts. She throws him up and swizzles him about and makes him do big flips. Baby Blue says the worst job ever is helping her ride her bike. And all of them have to do these beauty shows every day. Sometimes I wonder if I could get a job here, but Betty and Mr Brown Bear say there are no jobs left. I'm not highly skilled. I wish I was. Sometimes I feel a bit left out. Well, these bears are exhausted working all day for her. As soon as they get back to bed, they sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. I don't sleep. I'm not tired. I stay wide awake and listen to all her stories. And I'm always awake every night, ready to hug her if she has a horrible dream. Once she was sick at night and I was there to help. I got some sick on my head, but I didn't mind. So when these bears wake up, I tell them about the job I do in the night. Now they know I'm a special bear. I'm a night bear.